from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, I am student meteorologist Amanda Reynolds here with your campus weather service forecast for April 21st, 2015. We had quite an active weather pattern yesterday. We had lots of severe storms across central and eastern Pennsylvania. Here is a picture taken by our very own Stefano DiPietro. This is a lightning strike that went across the sky and it was very intriguing to watch the, these storms as they moved through. They also produced a uh, pretty good sized hail. This was taken by Jeff Schmidt. These are hailstones outside. Those were each about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch in diameter. And so that was definitely very interesting to watch. We also have what we like to call here in Walker Building, Lake Atherton. This was taken from the sixth floor of Walker. This was all due to flash flooding as those thunderstorms moved through the area. This was taken by Brad Gay. We had lots of stranded cars out in the middle of this water. This is the intersection right outside of Walker Building. And those cars were stranded for about 20 minutes until the floodwaters began to recede. We had some of our own very own meteorologists helping to push some of these cars out of the water as they were stranded there. Looking forward to our current conditions, this is our live look outside the Arboretum. We can see mostly cloudy skies, current temperatures here in State College, 48 degrees, although it feels like only 40 degrees because we do have winds out of the west at around 25 miles per hour, so make sure you bundle up as it has been uh, quite a bit warmer, so a little bit of a shock in the temperatures for today. Planning your day. This morning it was mostly sunny with temperatures around 50 degrees. This afternoon those clouds are beginning to move in high around 57 and tonight those clouds continue around with temperatures around 51. Temperatures across central Pennsylvania. Beach Creek coming in at 53. Belfont coming in at 52. Clearfield at 49. And zooming out for Looking at the rest of the Commonwealth, our warm spot is Philadelphia at 62, while Bradford and Johnstown are our cool spots at 45, while much of the central part of the state is in that cooler air, only in the upper 40s. Our current radar and satellite, we can see just a few scattered showers that moved through the area this morning, although not really too significant. That will be throughout the day. Uh, throughout the night tonight, those showers move through. This is our projected radar for overnight tonight around 2.30 a.m. That next line of showers is expecting to move through the State College area, and those will continue throughout the day on Wednesday and will clear out into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Just a few scattered clouds and the chance of a pop-up shower on Thursday. Your forecast for today here in State College, a mix of sun and clouds for much of the afternoon. High will be around 57, although the main story will be the winds out of the southwest up to 20 miles per hour, and gusts can be even higher than that as this next system approaches. We will, are expecting some showers overnight tonight with mostly cloudy skies. Lows will be around 40 degrees, and those winds will begin to taper off around to around 5 to 10 miles per hour overnight tonight. Looking forward to our seven day forecast, a cooling trend is on its way. The warmest temperature expected over the course of the next week is will be today, high of around 57 degrees, cooling off 52 tomorrow, struggling to even make it into the upper 40s for Thursday and into Friday. So definitely a cold shock from what we've been seeing over the past week or so. Our next chance at some warmth, it will be into the weekend, but even so, we're only going to be in the lower 50s, while typically temperatures for this time of year are in the mid to upper 50s. That's your story for today. We'll have more throughout the week here at the Campus Weather Service, but for now, I'm student meteorologist Amanda Reynolds. Have a terrific Tuesday.